Hi everyone, welcome to Leonard Does Life. In this week's episode, I'm sharing a few things to do in Medicine Hat, Alberta. My name is Linda Huang and I'm a Canadian blogger and now video blogger sharing about my life. Tune in each week as I do something. <laughs> I'll try things you might want to try, visit places you might want to visit, and eat food you might want to eat. I hope you join me as I do life. I love visiting the southern Alberta city of Medicine Hat, one of the sunniest cities in all of Canada. My friends Jack and Nicole live here, so it's always nice to explore with them as locals. Most of my recent visits to Medicine Hat have been as working trips in partnership with Tourism Medicine Hat. You have to check out all of my Medicine Hat blog posts linked in the description below. And now, here's a ton of ideas for things you can do as you plan your visit to the Hat. One, go on an indie coffee tour. Medicine Hat has a ton of locally owned cafes, many of which are in walking distance from one another, almost all of them offering from scratch made treats and other food items along with a range of drinks. Inspire Cafe is cool because it doubles as an art gallery. The Mad Hatter roasts their beans in-house, and Zucchini Blossom has an awesome tomato soup to name just a few cafes and coffee shops you should visit. You could also pop into the Homestead Market for coffee and shopping. So I got the pickles. Um, but then the person who works here said that I had to get the cowboy candy as well because it comes with jalapeno peppers, vinegar, sugar, spices, and a little bit of yeehaw. <laughs> Two, experience Downtown Medicine Hat's coolest transformed lots, The Yard and Moose and Squirrel. These are outdoor spaces located between heritage buildings where you can order food, drinks, and catch live music. The open air vibe and all of the graffiti and Instagrammable mural art, plus twinkly lights and old brick that surrounds you, creates such a cool vibe. 3. Check out the world's biggest chess set and giant chess piece. The board, which was built in 2005, is nearly 6 meters long on each side, with some pieces, like the king, standing nearly 4 feet tall. The giant chess piece was unveiled more recently in 2021 and towers over the park and chess set, 20 feet above the ground. While you're there, pop across the street to the Esplanade, Medicine Hat's Arts and Heritage Center. Four, speaking of world's biggest things, Medicine Hat is also home to the world's biggest teepee. The Samus teepee was originally built for the Calgary Olympics in 1988 before moving to the hat. It stands as tall as a 20-story building and features indigenous artwork and information about the Plains Cree and history in the region. Okay, which one's your favorite? Me? Uh, I think I like the one with the buffalo skull and it looks like it's showing that one. the depiction of the building of their ah, uh -huh, uh -huh. foundation. And what about you, Diane? Uh, it's the one with the eagle. The shadows in it. Like the circle eagle? Yeah, yeah. Very nice. I like clean Very nice. Okay, and my favorite is the one with the different accessories. Jack, which one's your favorite again? Uh, the one with the hand, because it's obviously the best one. But why? It's the medicine wheel. I like the hands. This is the most visible landmark in the city, and within the circle of the TP, you'll find 10 illustrated pieces of art, they call it storyboards, that were hand painted and represent a variety of influences and history of First Nations heritage. Five, check out Instagrammable walls of Medicine Hat. Many of these newer murals were created in the downtown area as part of the Medicine Hat Mural Festival. There are some stunning pieces done by local and national artists. Six, Catch a ride on the 1985 Retro Sunshine Trolley. This trolley makes key stops at what would be considered Medicine Hat's most popular destinations and is designed to be hop off, hop on style during summer and fall months. Don't forget to ring the trolley bell and wave to onlookers as you pass by. Seven, go for a swim at Echo Dale Swim Lake located at the beautiful Echo Dale Regional Park, the largest park in Medicine Hat, full of hiking and biking trails, cool views and more. Remember to bring a floaty. Eight, eat at any number of Medicine Hat's many locally owned restaurants, including my favorite, Takumi Japanese. We just love the fresh food here. <laughs> and the owners are so sweet. Seating is at a premium though, so be sure to make a reservation. 
Beyond Takumi, you might want to visit Medicine Hat institutions like Tino's, a burger and milkshake spot, or Swirl's, a long-standing ice cream shack. Nine, go on a brewery and distillery crawl. Cheers! Ooh, that one is good. Medicine Hat is home to several local breweries and craft distilleries, and they all have great patios that are also dog friendly. The Medicine Hat Brewing Company has some delicious beer cocktails and must order pretzels with beer cheese. I also enjoyed my fish bowl from Grit City, which uses their distilled vodka. 10. Catch a baseball game. It does make sense to head to a summer ball game in one of Canada's sunniest cities. Woo! <laughs> oh! <laughs> the vibes just cannot be beat. 11. Check out local boutique shops. In past visits, I've made a point to purchase jumpsuits or dresses from Medicine Hat boutiques. My most recent visit included a stop at this beautiful garden and plant store called Botanicals. Cute? Oh yeah, so cute. So cute. This is for my mom though, I can't take care of plants. My plant-loving friends found the prices here to be very good compared to Edmonton plant prices. 12. Visit the Red Rock Coulee Natural Area just outside the hat. I did a separate video all about this super cool area, home to some of the world's largest sandstone rocks. Be sure to watch that video before you visit, and also be careful for rattlesnakes. And 13. Check out the Greenhouse Corner in Red Cliff, also just outside the hat. This area is considered the greenhouse capital of the prairies, and many of the greenhouses offer steeply discounted fresh produce in their storefronts that use an unmanned honor system where you pay for what you take. What dollar of the heck? Seriously, delicious vegetables at a fraction of the cost you might find in a big city. So those are just a few ideas of the many things you can do in the southern Alberta city of Medicine Hat. I did also want to shout out to Guest House 71 where we stayed on our most recent visit. This is a super cute bed and breakfast located just 10 minutes outside of the city, so you really capture that country farmhouse vibe, but also have quick access and amenities to the city. They give you the cutest self-serve breakfast items. <gasps> cute! And your stay includes a s'mores kit that you can use on their really nice patio. <laughs> If I miss something you think is a must-see when in Medicine Hat, please leave a comment and let people know. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Lindark Does Life. You've got to visit Medicine Hat. Tell the locals I said hi. <laughs> See you next week. Bye. as a picture. <laughs> well, I can just grab it later, I guess.